The impact of egg and sperm donation on donors and their families. When we think about egg and sperm donation, we tend to focus on three people. The donor conceived child, their parent or parents, and the donor. But donors are not just donors. They are also parents, partners, children, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles and friends. Our research looks at how donation impacts on the everyday life and relationships of donors. Meet Annie. When Annie decided to donate her eggs, she thought carefully about the new connections between her and the other family. As a donor, she was committed to the idea that the donor-conceived child should have the choice of making contact with her if they wanted to. A few years later, Annie had a baby of her own, Ryan. As a mum, she began to think about the connections between Ryan and the donor-conceived child. Unlike donor-conceived children, a donor's own children do not have any right to make contact when they reach 18. What if Ryan would love to meet his genetic half-sibling, but they never got in touch? Annie's decision to donate her eggs had an impact on Ryan's future that she hadn't imagined. Ryan only arrived in Annie's life after she became a donor, but donors also consider their existing family connections in their decision to donate. Some people were seen to deserve more of a say in the decision than others. Counselors often thought it was particularly important that donors' partners knew about and supported the donation. Nearly all the donors we interviewed had told their partner. For some couples, donation was very much a joint project, linked to decisions about whether to have children or how many children to have. This was the case for Juliet and Nico. Juliet was sure she did not want to have a child. Nico was less certain, but did want to pass something on to future generations. Becoming a sperm donor was a way of fulfilling this aim that was positive for both of them. Harry's wife had sadly died while they were pursuing fertility treatment. Donating sperm gave him a way to help other people start a family, whilst also completing that chapter in his life. He saw his wife as partly responsible for the new lives and families he had helped to create. As well as partners, parents, sisters, brothers, nephews and nieces all sometimes felt that they had a stake in the donation. Some donors were careful who they told about being a donor for just this reason. Several donors decided not to tell their own parents about their donation because they worried their parents might think of the child as their own grandchild. The donors anticipated this could cause sadness, particularly if their parents were unlikely to meet the child in the future. When donors did tell others about their donation, it was common for family members to have different ideas about it. Emma didn't have children, but her sister Louise had one daughter, Olivia. When she mentioned to Louise one day that she had donated her eggs and that the recipients now had three children, Louise was surprised and shocked. For Emma, donation was a straightforward way of helping somebody else start a family. A nice thing to do. She didn't imagine it would be a big deal for her sister. But Louise then found herself wondering about these children and thinking of them as cousins for her daughter. She found it hard that she couldn't know anything about them and that Olivia might never meet them. She felt the donation created new connections with everyone in the family. She agreed that the donation was Emma's choice, but was upset that Emma hadn't mentioned it for so long, and that she hadn't thought about what it would mean for other people in her family. These are just some of the stories from our research. They show how the impact of donation evolves as donors' relationships change over time, and that the donor's family also have a stake in these connections. More children are being born each year from donated eggs or sperm, and we are moving to a more open way of thinking and talking about donor conception. By also considering the perspective of the donor and their family, we can help support everybody whose lives are shaped, in some way, by donor conception. For more information, see www.manchester.ac.uk forward slash egg and sperm donors.